What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another Swift tutorial. In today's video, we're going to be learning how to add sign in with Google to your iOS app. So we've got the Google SDK integrated here and we can hit this button to continue. And we can see that to continue with our example app, we can throw in our email here. It'll ask for our password and we'll be authenticated. So we're going to be using Firebase. We're going to be using the Google SDK and set this up from scratch. So that said, make sure you smash that like button down below. Helps out the YouTube algorithm quite a bit. Uh, I love making these videos and I want to share them with as many people as possible. So that helps. Subscribe if you're new. Get Xcode ready, get excited, and let's jump right into it. Real quick before we jump into this video, as many of you have seen and also asked, I am putting together a iOS Academy for you all with several courses, one-on-one -on -one examples, coaching, a community where we can all collaborate on everything iOS and mobile apps. So you can head on over to ios.academy slash waitlist and sign up with your email here and you'll be notified once things become available. So that said, let's jump into the video. All right, so we're gonna get started by creating a new project. We'll stick with a single view application and let's call this Google sign in example, save it to our desktop and let's jump right in. So to get this working, we need to do a couple of things. We need to set up the app in the Firebase console, bring in the dependencies, and then of course set up our project. So let's start with bringing in our dependencies, and we're going to use CocoaPods to do that. So open up terminal and cd into your project, do a pod init, and let me expand this, do a open pod file. So if you don't have CocoaPods installed already, I've got a separate video on this. So do take a look at that if you need to. So we need to bring in three dependencies. First one is Firebase Core. And I'm going to be lazy and copy and paste this. Next one is Firebase Auth. And last one is Google Sign In. Let's make sure we lowercase the P, otherwise this won't work and close text edit, do a pod install. And once all of these dependencies are installed, we can close this Xcode window with a command W and open up the workspace by doing an open project name .xc workspace. In here, we need to do a Firebase configure. So open up the project and head to the app delegate. And let me close this. Um, so in the app delegate, we want to import Firebase. And in the application did finish launching function before the return, we want to do a Firebase app dot configure. So uh, don't run the app just yet because it'll crash. We need to bring in a Google plist file from the Firebase console. So I've got the console loaded up here, my browser. So head on over to firebase.com, sign in, and let's create a new project. So we're gonna give it a name of Google sign in example. Hit the button to continue, pretend like we read all of this and continue. Want to account for our analytics. So let's give it the default one, continue. And while it's doing that, I am going to reset this simulator because I was using it before um, and I want to make sure that the caches for the last time I used Google sign in are not saved. So we're going to select this and then as you saw, you can go up here and hit erase. Um, and it'll reset your simulator. So this is done over here. We can hit this to continue. We want to now add an iOS app. So let's hit this. It wants our bundle ID. So in our project, let's go to the project navigator, grab the bundle ID and throw it in right there. Hit this to continue. Now it's going to give us the info plist file for our Firebase project. Let's download it. 
and we want to bring this into our project as shown in the picture here keep hitting next until you get the spinner it's just telling you how to set up the cocoa pod which we already did and now we want to drag this plist file into the project hit return and hit command r to build and run so we should see our app pop up here in a second and once the app communicates with firebase we'll get a check mark here and we'll be able to continue uh, to the project page so sometimes it takes a few tries for the app to actually communicate with firebase and it gets slightly annoying so if it takes if it takes a while i'll probably forward the video so you guys don't have to waste your time Let's give it a second maybe it'll be nice and not waste our time the other thing I like to do is uh, do a command shift K on the project, which is uh, clean and you can hit command R again and it'll do a clean build. And sometimes that gives us a little kick to actually give us a check mark. Feel free to forward a um, couple, couple seconds to get this to the point where we can continue so there it goes so usually doing the command shift k helps but now we can hit this to continue and now we want to set up the google sign-in feature in the console here so we can simply go to authentication under develop uh, sign-in services and in here we want to open up google there's a bunch as you can see turn on the switch and we want to also give this a public facing name. So this will be the name shown to the user on their device uh, in the format of so-and-so app is requesting to sign in with Google. So we're just going to say example app also wants an email for compliance. So we'll give our default one and save this. And we're done here in the console as far as setup is concerned. Now we just need to set some stuff up here in our code. So in the app delegate here, let's start by importing Google sign in. And we need to do a few things in here. The first thing is delete these white spaces because they're bothering me. No, just kidding. The first thing actually is bring in the GID sign in delegate. In this application did finish launching uh, function. Uh, we want to say GID sign in dot shared instance dot delegate is self. And we also want to say the client ID equals something. And we'll leave it as a empty string for now. And we'll fill it in in a second. Uh, ignore the error up here. Uh, we're going to fix that. We're going to bring in the function to fix it, which is did sign in. And once the user is signed in, we're simply going to print out um, their user email. So we're going to say user email equals user dot profile dot email. And it's optional. So if it doesn't exist, we'll say no email. And this user object, Google was, will give us back once the user has signed in. Um, and it contains, as you can imagine, their user ID and some profile info uh, and other fun stuff like that. And let's see, what else do we need in here? We want to bring in another function, Just open URL, and we want to return GID sign in dot shared instance dot handle URL. Get rid of the optionality and the question mark. And let me zoom out so you guys can see that whole function. So this function allows an application to handle a open URL request. Um, and that's all we need to do in the app delegate with the exception of filling this client ID out. And let's do that really fast. So you'll find that client ID in your Google services plist file. It's this first thing right here. So let's copy it. Let's go back to the delegate and paste it on in. And we need to do two more things. So go back to the Google services P list, grab the reversed client ID URL that we see here, go to your project and on this view, hit info, 
Um, let's close this. Let's open up URL types, hit plus, and paste that in right there. And the last thing we need to do is actually set up a sign in with Google button because how else is a user going to sign in? So let's go to our view controller. And in here, we want to import Google sign in. And we would need to say in the view to load function, GID sign in dot shared instance presenting view controller is self. So we're telling the instance that this is the controller where we want to show the prompt to sign in. And then let's add the button. So we can add the button with an outlet or a uh, or programmatically um, configuring it ourselves. But we'll use an outlet for the sake of time in this video. Um, so we'll create an outlet of sign in button. Let's say GID sign in button. And let's go to our main.storyboard and hook it up. So I'll also mention in the Google documentation for Firebase, there's a bunch of ways to configure the way this button looks. Um, so I encourage you to take a look at that if you're interested. So we're going to bring a UI view into our controller. The sign in button is actually just a UI view under the hood. So we're going to change its class by coming up here and saying its class is GID sign in the button and then finally connect the outlet and we could be lazy and not add constraints but let's just add constraints and pretend like we're good developers so let's select that come down here let's say 100 from the top 20 20 and let's give this a height of 60. So notice you don't see the button here when you actually run it, which we'll do now by hitting command R, you will see the button on your simulator. So hopefully I didn't forget to do anything. Once we run it, we'll see a bunch of console printout here. We can clear it with a command K and let me expand this over here. We can hit this button and we'll get this prompt saying, you sure you want to sign in with Google requesting to prompt the web view. Hit that, and you'll see our example app is requesting to sign in. So we are going to sign in with our iOS Academy email. So let me just pause the video and enter in my credentials. All right, so I've got my password entered here. Um, I didn't want to hit sign in, so you guys missed out on seeing the print over here, but we're going to hit this button. We'll see that the sign in window goes away, and over here, we are printing out user email, which is hello at iosacademy.io. So yeah, that is basically how you can set up Google sign-in. Um, the other thing that I'll share as a bit of a bonus is how to check if the user is still signed in. And it's quite simple, actually. Google's done a fantastic job with how they've built their components. Uh, we can simply do a if GID sign in dot shared instance current user uh, doesn't equal nil, then we are signed in. Uh, otherwise, because the user signs in and under the hood, the library is saving their tokens, you could actually do a silent sign in also, which will just refresh the user's authentication state under the hood. Uh, if the user needs to re-enter their password, let's say they changed it, um, they will see a pop-up, but you can do GID sign in i believe it's silent sign in let's see shared sign in so there's sign in there's sign out and i could have swore there was a silent sign in in here so i think what actually they've changed it to is once you sign in um it'll try to do the silent sign in and if it doesn't uh, succeed you will get the error um, but I don't want to get into the weeds of silence on and I encourage you to take a uh, take a look at the documentation to learn more about that So that said that is how you add sign in with Google to your iOS app using Swift So it's fairly straightforward um, Just to summarize we brought in our libraries. We have this set up in our controller We added a UI view to the storyboard and set its class to a sign in button and connected the outlet 
Most of the meat of this video is in the app delegate, where we bring in Firebase, sign in, set the delegate, and also uh, add a couple of functions. We of course set up the application in the Firebase console, and we link everything together and it works. So that said, thanks for watching. Make sure you smash that like button if you haven't done so already. Subscribe if you're new. Comment down below if you have any suggestions, anything you want to see next, any feedback, any issues. I try to reply to every comment. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.